wrestling, jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai, athletic, young, suplex, dynamic, a Greco-Roman All-American. One suplex to your head and you're dead. That is the old Russian proverb about wrestlers. This axiom is especially true in the field of mixed martial arts. In this video, we will remember the rare suplex knockouts in MMA. December 2012, Rustam Hadlyov makes his debut in the world's strongest league with a record of 14 to 1 and one of the strongest fighters in the post-Soviet Union area. He was challenged by striker Vince Pichel, who had seven knockouts winning streak. Sino for Pichel and Habilov. Rustam started the fight with the takedown and presented the Dagestan Airlines to the UFC fans all over the world. And again, right up. again. Wow. and again, he's so strong. <laughs> oh, and again, he's again. tossing him around. He oh, may finish it right out. here. He's out. And he's it's out. all over. Wow, these are some of the best suplexes we've ever seen inside the octagon. And yeah, he is really dazed there. And these punches just put us by literally shoving his opponent's head into the canvas. Rustam Habilov has forever included himself into the best highlights in the history of MMA. Absolutely undeservingly forgotten masterpiece performance by the same Rustam Habilov. 2009 Team Championship like Russia vs. the World. The Legion Club team from Russia faced the Turkish MMA team. The lot fell on the Turk, Akim Duran. His debut, his background is in combat sambo. Akin Duran, one and one. No comments needed. This is our referee, the bell in round number one. See Havilov walking his man down. Two punches. Oh, oh suplex! Oh, he's out cold. He's out cold. Wow! Landed on his head. Do it, just flipped over, landed on his head. You see it here? A couple of strikes to set up that clinch. Lifted him up. And bang, right on his head. The only thing worth mentioning is that the fight against Habilov was the last one in the Turk's career. Rostam Habilov! The Singaporean-born Canadian Christian Lee, nurtured by the 1FC League, had all the makings of a star. But after a misfire against the experienced Martin Nguyen, He was trying to get back into the title race. One of the stepping stones along the way was the stalwart veteran of Shudu and One with the Yakuza look, Kotetsu Boku. Championship contention and Christian Lee explodes out of his The young athlete was the first to take decisive actions. Christian Lee hoping for a takedown. Posts up on the arm, defends this Boku. Can he get up again? After failing a rear naked choke, As well as an arm triangle choke, the fighters returned to the stand-up work. A little battered but not broken, Samurai Descendant survived the bombardment with knees. However, as Chael Sonnen said, youth almost always triumphs. his feet, but look at that, boom, belly to back suplex, that's what put him out, beautiful takedown. A quick dash, control of the opponent's back, and an emergency landing with his spine on the floor proved the Japanese with a brief excursion to the dream world. The debut of a student of the school of five sides of the world, Saeed Hussein Arslanayev in the 1FC, another debutant of the organization, was Michel Alfed. Oh, left hand got through straight away and followed up with rights as well. Lift his opponent. Yeah, this kid is no doubt going to take him. He shot for a ride. Alpha is a moment. Oh, wow. wow. 33 seconds, I think. He's around and just pounds on him from behind. There's a belly to back suplex. Picks him up, slides around. And it just 33 seconds. Let's just say that the final point was the belly to back suplex. Sagi! Good, Australia! 
Usagi. Two unknown Chinese fighters who just started their careers and who just as soon ended them. But little does not mean boring. Fighters cannot continue. The winner of this alternate bout through to the final. The Shangsha native goes into the wrestling. Wide open for the super. Returning to the stand up, Zhou grabs his opponent in a guillotine. But the most fun is still to come. Such a unique show could only happen in Asian League. Sometimes it's not the most famous people who create masterpieces. If you remember similar episodes of Departure to the Dream Realm, feel free to remind us in the comments. Boku starts very side on. Oh, he just wrenches into the canvas and grabs.